So in addition to my last video exposing you did it wrong, I've gotten a lot of Karnas nonsense responses since then. None of which I really care about because it's all nonsense, but this is something that I wanted to make really clear. And I also want to thank Emily from Slightly Crazy Vegan for pointing this out. Donna Blair, who runs the YouTube channel Hot for Health, thought it was cool to make fun of my hair type as a black person. And as you could imagine, she happens to be white. And this is just how my hair type is. Sometimes it'll be super stiff and it'll just simply stick in the air. Sometimes it wants to act right and it'll just look proper. And the reason she's throwing these racist and insulted people is because I exposed her best friend or online buddy, Sky from You Did It Wrong. And as you can imagine, when Karnas respond to you, it's usually nonsense and personal attacks, but nothing that holds any truth or real merit to it. Now, going back to a video by another anti-vegan YouTuber known as Tuesday. You guys might know her. She runs the YouTube channel I Have Now, and she also runs another channel called Amethyst Tuesday. There's a video of her in which she can be found playing a slave song, but not only playing a slave song or in a song that represents slavery, but wearing a hat that has the Confederate flag on it. And if you guys don't know what Confederacy means, the Confederate side was the side that when slavery was being abolished, they were fighting to keep black people enslaved because it was their heritage, quote unquote. So that's what they say. They say they're just trying to cherish their heritage and they try and make it sound less racist. But the Confederate flag means that you want black people to be enslaved and working in your fields as a white person. And here we see her in the comment section saying, hey, Tuesday, I love your hat. And then she requests for her to play another racist song. And a quick history lesson here is that the word Dixie actually represents the southern states. And if you don't know, the southern states were the last states to give up slavery. And that's something that they hold on to proudly, is that they fought to keep slavery in place, which is why the Civil War took place. And they lost that war. They lost the war to keep slavery in place. So Sky is also a racist because she thinks it's funny to joke and make memes about the Confederate flag. And there's nothing funny about black people being enslaved, whipped and beaten and raped. But as you can imagine, someone who happens to be an animal abuser would support this type of behavior. And it's absolutely disgusting to see that people aren't calling this out. So this NPC vegan account is actually Sky's account. And she made it to joke and try and pretend to be vegan and basically type in a, in a funny manner that makes it look like, you know, they're angry and they're acting stupid or whatever because she basically has no life and that's what she is. She's a troll in which you shouldn't take seriously. You can't believe. But this is Sky's account. This NPC vegan account is Sky's account. It says, oh, so you are wearing a hat that is literally what Confederacy wanted for slavery. You are supporting of slaves. Go vegan and support BLM. So she types it in this weird manner to make it seem like it's some super angry, stupid vegan, but it's just her trolling and that's all you can really take her for as I've said before. But this just shows that she thinks the Confederate flag is a joke. And as I've shown in my last video, she even used the Confederate flag in a meme video when there's absolutely nothing to be joking about when it comes to the Confederate flag. As a black man who lives in the South, the flag is still being wrapped around uh, Texas freely because it hasn't been banned here yet. And back on to Hot for Health, this is this woman's face right next to her is her partner, but this is this woman's face. Her name is Donna Blair. I want you guys to know publicly that she is a racist. She f supports the Confederate flag, and not only that, but she p supports torture and death. And moving on, she actually supports showing her kids suffering and death and implementing speciesism into their heads. So first we see a picture of her child hugging a duck, and I believe that's because they get eggs from the duck. But then there's a picture of her child next to a decapitated headless chicken that they have just murdered. And she put the caption, Our mean ass rooster attacked for his last time. That rooster wanted to go to heaven so badly. He attacked me, my mom, Christian, and Ollie multiple times. R.I.P. asshole chicken fried in coconut oil. It's not like it's not in every sentient being's instincts to try and get away from violence, to try and get away from death. If someone's attacking you, you try and avoid it, keep them off you, keep them away. And you're such a disgusting person that she even jokes about it. And the sad thing about this is 
This woman has bred three kids into existence. Three kids. And these kids are going to grow up to be racist. They're going to grow up to be animal abusers. And they're going to grow up to be to take after their parents because that's what they grow up believing in and being surrounded by. They grow up being surrounded by uh, violence, thinking that killing animals is okay. And they grow up around people with parents who uh, think that the Confederate flag, waving that around, they think that's okay. So they're going to grow up to be racist. They're going to grow up to be animal abusers. And they're going to grow up to be disgusting fucking people because they have shit for parents like these people, hot for hell. So again, you know it. The information is out here. Do your own research. These anti-vegans are racist. That's it.